So after the intense movement for two minutes, you need to go take a cold shower. I'm not excited for this one. I've been dreading it this whole time. I hated every second of that cold shower. Now that I'm ready, it's time to go make the tea. I'm also gonna eat breakfast right now. I need to read for 20 to 30 minutes Okay, so the next step is to make a smoothie. I'm gonna go feed my dogs first and then I'm gonna go make the smoothie. I'm gonna make a strawberry banana smoothie. So, yes, I will show you. Here's my smoothie. While I drink it, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this $1 billion morning routine. First off, I do wanna say that this morning routine is very productive. I feel very productive because of how many tasks it makes you do. It is a long morning routine and I don't see myself doing this every day. Let's talk about the tasks themselves. I always recall my, de my dreams in the morning because I remember them a lot of the time so they just pop into my head by themselves so I don't necessarily need to like think about it so that's something that was normal about this and then making your bed I always do that every morning too so that was fine drinking a glass of water was actually really nice I usually don't really drink water early in the morning um, I'm not gonna tell you my whole history with mornings but yeah, that's not usually something that I do. I usually just start off by drinking my tea with breakfast, but this was nice. I felt hydrated and it was great. For the meditation, I honestly couldn't really focus on the meditation. Um, I think that meditation is something that I would benefit more from if I did it at the end of the afternoon after I've done everything I needed to do in a day because that's something to wind down and um, to me the meditation section just actually felt kind of stressful because I felt like I was wasting time when I had the whole day ahead of things that I needed to do so it doesn't work for me but I see how it would help other people i guess to meditate in the morning and just feel relaxed but for me it actually just made me stress <laughs> and i wasn't really able to focus on the meditation itself um very much because of that and then for the intense movement for two minutes i thought that was really random in the routine especially because you go from 20 minutes of meditation to intense movement for two minutes so i thought that was just weird yeah it was a weird change from very opposite sides of the spectrum and i don't know how i feel about it the cold shower was painful 
because I was already cold but overall I do understand how cold showers are actually beneficial to have because I do have them every now and then but not in the morning that's just not a thing that I enjoy having unless maybe I went outside for a run in the early morning then yeah but in this scenario the cold shower was just painful and I don't know why anybody would want to do that to themselves then you just get ready like usual hold on hello make tea normal thing to do in the morning nothing wrong about it nothing that was different for me journaling i also once again usually journal towards the end of the day because i journal about my day after it occurred but i can see how journaling in the morning can be good um to journal about other things that's just not the way that i use journaling i actually really liked to make a to -do, two to-do lists one personal and one work related because i usually just put everything together and it just makes a really big list that, that isn't very organized so i really enjoy that part to feel list i also thought that was interesting i've never done that before i just realized that i skipped a step you were supposed to make another list that said who do you want to be today but honestly to me the feelings and the who i want to be today kind of go together so that's fine that i skipped it um and then the reading once again, I usually prefer to read towards the end of the day because it's another winding down thing for me. Usually in the mornings, I like to start it calmly, but kind of get to work quickly because I know that um, throughout the day, my motivation and energy will just go down. So I feel like if I used, would do this morning routine, I wouldn't necessarily, it would just feel like I'm wasting time to be honest. So yeah. But the smoothie part is good too. I usually would do this during breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this video. You should try out this morning routine if you want. I think it's interesting. I hope you have a lovely day and you start to enjoy your mornings. If you have rough mornings like I used to a lot. If you like this video, leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want to as well. But otherwise, just have a lovely day and I'll see you on my next video.